about to introduce to you a man who's not strong in body. And he would even say that he uh, wouldn't want the attention on him. But he is a real hero. For I feel the hero is humble. A hero puts others before himself. A hero sees that God has a bigger plan for us than what we can really understand. Um, And a real hero loves. So I'm so proud to introduce to you today someone I love very much. My brother and our hero... First Lieutenant Andrew Kynard. It's been quite overwhelming for me to come back here today for a number of reasons. Standing before you now is something that I never thought I'd be able to do at one point in my life. And so... It's with such joy I have in my heart that I'm able to actually stand here physically today. Although my legs are made out of titanium and plastic. (laughs) And to just say hello and to thank you so much for coming out here and welcoming me back home. I've looked forward to this moment every single day since I woke up around Thanksgiving of last year. I've looked forward to this moment so that I might reconnect with the faces of this community that I've missed so much. I just want to briefly uh, mention something that I've sort of learned along the way uh, within this past year. You know, uh, last couple of weeks, I guess, you could say I've been in a, in a more of an introspective mood coming up on the anniversary date or what we call the Alive Day um, over at Walter Reed, the anniversary of my IED attack. I think that's a, a, a neat term that we use, a live day. It's not talking about the time that we lost something. It's not talking about that. It's talking about the day that we kept something. It's talking about the day that we are alive, and it's a celebration of that. I'm pretty happy. Um, During all of the uh, countless nights that I had in the ICU, in the surgical center, recovering after the ICU, and then on to Walter Reed, where I got to become an outpatient and am now doing physical therapy every day. One of the most important things that I remember when I look back on all of this and just sort of ask myself, you know, what have I learned or what's changed? I think of this. That despite the fact that half my body is missing, that I lost my legs almost completely, that the most important thing to me is not what I lost. That's not what defines me. What defines me is what I still have. And for that, I'm thankful. So, ladies and gentlemen, on this beautiful day out here in Spartanburg, South Carolina, where I'm so happy to be back here, where I can get some decent sweet tea. (laughs) I just want to thank you so much for this welcome home. It warms my heart to know that my community is standing behind me. It makes it so much easier, so much easier for me to go back up there to Washington and continue to push hard with my physical therapy so that one day I might come back home for good. And I just want to let you know I just want to let you know that I'll be thinking of every one of you while I'm up there remembering Spartanburg. I thought a lot about it over the past year. Very excited to be back home. I'm going to enjoy it. And with that, God bless, God speed, and Semper Fi.